because I uh, I think mine ties into the the news there. Of course we will do yours first. <laughs> he used to go last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course he used to do yours last. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to talk about uh, with Wonder Woman coming out uh, and with the Black Panther coming out and Miss Marvel and the Marvel Universe are trying to push through too. Um, it's sort of uh, the golden age of, of like inclusion in films. Um, but even beyond inclusion, I think Hollywood's maybe just getting a little bit more comfortable with the idea that they have to take risks. I mean, they're getting re-comfortable with that because they used to just make movies on spec. Like you show up with a spec script. And like uh, For people who don't know, a spec script is something that isn't based on a property. It's just a thing you wrote and you want to get it made. So you can show up with a spec and be like, uh, like blank check was a spec. You remember that movie where the guy the kid finds a yeah, check? Yeah, yeah. Um, and that guy wrote a, a really uh, good or bad book, depending on your opinion, but save the cat. Uh, go check it out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, I wanted to talk about, like, what property, existing property, you think Hollywood should make that you'd like to see get made that you think they probably are afraid to make. Mm. I think it would be a great idea to redo Annie, but with a black girl. <laughs> like how they switched up the uh, the Ghostbusters, or like how they made yeah. Annie with the, yeah. or like how they made Annie with a black girl. <laughs> yeah. That's already been made. What's that? There's already a Jamie Foxx movie where they did that. Yeah, no, I know. He, I was, he was being tongue in cheek. A joke. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, oh, I, I I'll jump in um, there and. So there's this, uh, this comic called Why the Last Man. I don't know if you guys have read it, but it's about a world where suddenly every man on earth dies except for one guy, Yorick, uh, Yorick Brown, I think. And he, so he's the last man on earth, and he's trying to figure out... And, oh, and his monkey. He has a, a, <laughs> a monkey that's also a boy. <laughs> but they're the last two male things on for earth. For all species. Like all species, except I think there might be some... No, I think everything. Um, across the board. Sounds so, like it's going to get weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, it, but it's really good. They, at one point, had it in development with Shia LaBeouf attached. Uh, and I, as much as I think the movie would probably not live up to it, but I think if, if they found someone who was, like, charming enough to be, like, likable in that situation where it wouldn't seem like a like a uh, commercial for Old Spice. Because <laughs> like, it just, it, it reads like a commercial for Old Spice. In fact, I think they made that a commercial at some point, like, the last man on earth and all the women are chasing him because he's wearing Old Spice <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but, but I'd like to see that get made because the comic is really great. Um, and it, it, again, it's one of those things that maybe wouldn't get made. Um, I don't know. And also, the new Miss Marvel comics, um, the Miss Marvel is so lovable and it's, she's uh, Muslim. And it, the comics are fantastic and I think that's something that Hollywood would probably be afraid to do right now. Mm -hmm. But I think it would go like, Doing it would go a long way. It's kind of what we them. need right now. Yeah. So I would love to see, I think, uh, I can't remember the, char the character's name in the book, but I think that version of Miss Marvel would be better than just some blonde white lady. So mm. that those are mine. We've got enough of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I still think something doesn't have to be exactly, like my choice isn't going to be exactly Rick and Morty, but something like that that really intentionally pushes that envelope. Something like makes Gonzo. you think. Yeah, something yeah. makes you think a little bit. Like, yeah. I don't know I, what I, another example would be off the top of my head, but I do like that idea. Like, I like the idea of just giving Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon the opportunity to make a movie not that's not Rick and Morty, but with that sensibility, and just say like, make a movie. Yeah, go we want your rules. movie, whatever, go, yeah. whatever you want to make it. Uh, I like that idea. Yeah, of like taking their sort of their style, what yeah. their style and their sensibilities and putting it into a movie. I mean, for people who know Dan Harmon's career, he did write the film Monster House. So, okay. uh, uh, not exactly a Rick and Morty <laughs> film, but uh, it is like, uh, like, like he has done movies, but I, I'd like to see him do a movie like that. that. Like that. Yeah, like well, it worked for Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Or like Book of Mormon. Actually, that's another one I'd like to see made into a movie. That like would Book be awesome. That would be a great movie. For sure. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure someone owns the option for that. I think once they've exhausted their yeah. money hungriness with all the live performances, they'll make the movie. Same thing with like most like any modern musical. They like they they will not 
release a video of it or anything like that because they need to sell tickets. That's yeah. where they make their money and in the theater. The live so. experience is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, it I is enjoyed amazing. it a lot. Have like, you guys I've, all I've seen it in theater? I haven't. No, I have. no. Yeah. I would highly recommend it, yeah. even yeah. to the yeah. audience. Yeah, this is could use a couple I extra am characters. Mormon, <laughs> dang it, a Mormon just believes. That's beautiful. That's pretty good. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> great job. I can't, I can't actually. I, I really pulled back on that last. Yeah, night. yeah. <laughs> that's you all. Notice I managed to get myself off mic because I'm like, I'm already loud enough. <laughs> that's actually the only quote from the show we're allowed to have on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Everything yeah. else goes below the line that so we said we weren't going to cross. Hawaii. No one went for the high note anyway. So yeah. We're all right. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what, what about you guys? Is there anything you'd like to see Hollywood do that you think maybe they're afraid to do? Well, I, honestly, I was thinking Caddyshack because um, I cool love remake. that movie. That's, that's actually a cool remake. Yeah. That, that's a great point, actually, yeah. because they're, they're totally afraid to make those types of comedies now. They, they don't exist anymore. No. Yeah. Like, it would I was, be great to do it before oh, Bill Murray dies and yeah. have him have like a cameo in the yeah. or on the good spot. Before he dies, like he's on his last Chevy legs. Chase. I hope I hate to you never that. know. Like, <laughs> we're dropping do you know like what? flies. I was I just since you say that, it just reminded me of like All in the Family. Like we we oh, kind of yeah. talked about it a little. I that just little bit finished too. reading. I well, yeah. I listened to Norman Lear's <laughs> audiobook. Uh, even this, I get to experience. Just finished it yesterday, and he talks about how like because he's the guy who created the show. Yeah, he's amazing. He's ninety six years old, I think, mm-hmm. and he like reads the whole book. It's him reading it, and it's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I, an All in the Family, like pr- uh, I think, yeah, we yeah. need that something that like pushes that envelope the way Norman Lear did. Because mm. yeah, like why are, why is everyone so scared to like just be like frank with each other these days? This isn't the place for political conversation, but yeah. I think like that is something that people need to like. Consider. Just talk all to of, each other. All I'm like, like getting, we're just getting ready for like the digital tomatoes to be thrown at our. <laughs> 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 no, but I, I, I think it's we've drawn that line. I think it's important to to, to maintain the line, but mm-hmm. I think it's that's not a political statement, and that's why I wanted. I actually wasn't sure if we should talk about this, but I do think it's important to talk about like what what envelopes are we not willing to push like in in culture these days, that, like as entertainment that don't make any sense. Like, why is the barrier? talking about putting black people in movies. Like, why, like, we should be able to talk about they deserve to be represented in films. Well, we can, I don't we think can, that's a political stance. We can almost draw parallels to we set lines for ourselves, too, just because we don't almost want, don't want to deal with, like, backlash or offending people. And mm-hmm. it's, like, sometimes it's e- nice and easier to sort of keep it, keep it family, keep it clean, you know, and you don't want to get that negative feedback. I don't know. I think as long as we keep a, maintain a positive message, like yeah. in in when discussing these things, like just yeah, I think we should all be more open to seeing more color in our films, more gender in our films, more mm-hmm. more of the spectrum of gender maybe in our films. Mm-hmm. Like, I think we should just all just be more comfortable with just letting people be who they want to be on the on the screen. And Hollywood, that's I know yeah, you're watching. Good this. points, man. <laughs> good points. Yeah. They need to learn from Trailer Park Boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's been, you said that last week. I know. Yeah, that's a good point. Like they just Trailer Park Boys. They just they don't acknowledge when like they just they, it just is. It, yeah. People are who they are in that show, yeah. and they just don't acknowledge any sort of difference or anyways. J. Rock. Wonder Woman's un-American. Wonder Woman <laughs> again. <laughs> If, if you missed the first topic, Matt is reminding us once again <laughs> <laughs> that Wonder Woman is un-American. All right, so let's. I, I I think that's. Oh wait, Pat, you didn't get the chance to answer that. Yeah, I did. Anything? I said all in the family. Oh yeah, all yeah. in the family. Yeah. But yeah, actually, uh, again, just one more plug. Go read even this. I get to experience because it's a book from the perspective of someone who grew up as a young uh, Jewish boy in America who then won fought in World War II and then went on to create the biggest television shows of the of the of his generation. So he's a he's a, and he was a genius. Still is a genius because he's somehow still alive. <laughs> but yeah, go check that out. Norman Lear's. All right, love you.